scientists have just made a groundbreaking discovery on Mars, a massive underground reservoir of liquid water on Mars. This reservoir is so largest, it could cover the entire planet with water, up to a depth of one to two kilometers, about a mile deeper. This monumental find solves a long-standing mystery about Mars. Then, what happened to all its water? Mars wasn't always the dry, dusty planet we see today. Billions of years ago, it had a thicker atmosphere and a warmer climate, allowing liquid water to flow across its surface. So how do we know this? There are three crucial pieces of evidence. First, Mars is dotted with networks of valleys and outflow channels that closely resemble river valleys and deltas on Earth. These suggest that liquid water once flowed across the Martian surface, carving out channels and depositing sediments. Second, scientists have detected hydrated minerals, clays, sulfates, and certain salts that only form in the presence of water. These have been found by orbiters, like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, and rovers like Curiosity. Finally, Martian rovers have discovered sedimentary rock formations, similar to those formed by water on Earth. These rocks show features like cross bedding and ripple marks created by flowing water. But around three to four billion years ago, Mars experienced a series of catastrophic events that dramatically changed its history. The trouble began with the collapse of its magnetic field. Unlike Earth, Mars lost its global magnetic field relatively early. This magnetic field, created by a dynamo effect in the planet's molten core, shielded Mars from the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles emitted by the sun. As Mars' core cooled, the dynamo effect weakened, leading to the loss of its magnetic shield. Without this shield, Mars' atmosphere became vulnerable to the solar wind, which gradually stripped away much of it. The atmospheric pressure dropped significantly, making it increasingly difficult for liquid water to remain on the surface. The thinning atmosphere also weakened the greenhouse effect, causing temperatures to plummet. Mars transitioned from a warm, wet environment to the cold, dry planet we see today. Any remaining liquid water froze, becoming surface ice or permafrost hidden beneath the surface. But something didn't add up. If our theories were correct, even after accounting for the water lost to space, Mars should still have had a significant amount of water. The frozen water in the polar ice caps wasn't nearly enough to account for it all. This raised an intriguing question. Where is the rest of the water hiding on Mars? And if it still exists, could it potentially support life as we know it? The answer came from NASA's InSight Lander, a groundbreaking mission designed to explore Mars's interior. Unlike previous missions focused on the surface, InSight aimed to dig deeper, investigating Mars's seismic activity, heat flow, and internal composition. Throughout its four-year mission, InSight detected more than 1,300 Marsquakes, originating from meteor impacts and volcanic rumblings. These seismic waves allowed scientists to probe beneath the Martian crust. Within the signals of these seismic waves was a surprising discovery, a large reservoir of liquid water. Scientists used a technique similar to those on Earth for studying underground aquifers and oil fields. The model revealed that deep below Mars's surface, a layer of fractured rock filled with liquid water existed. Though the discovery is crucial for understanding Mars's water cycle, this layer is buried at depths between 11.5 and 20 kilometers, making it too deep for current technology to reach. Drilling to such depths would be an extraordinary challenge, even on Earth. While finding liquid water on Mars doesn't automatically mean life exists there, it certainly opens up intriguing possibilities. The conditions within this underground reservoir could be similar to environments on Earth, where microbial life thrives, such as in deep mines or on the ocean floor. Researchers believe that if habitable conditions exist on Mars, they are likely to be found deep underground. This discovery highlights the importance of understanding Mars's water cycle, not just for grasping the planet's climate evolution, but also for assessing its potential to support life. If life ever existed or still exists on Mars, it might be hidden in these deep underground waters, waiting to be discovered. With this massive reservoir of water, imagining Mars as a potential future home becomes even more exciting. However, setting foot on Mars is still a distant goal. The journey involves overcoming five main challenges, with one of the biggest being the sheer distance. On average, Mars is about 225 million kilometers from Earth. 
A round-trip mission to Mars would take approximately 18 to 30 months, including travel time, stay on the planet, and return. Astronauts would need supplies for the entire mission. The distance also means that communication delays and supply logistics are major hurdles. Despite these challenges, the discovery of water on Mars brings us one step closer to unlocking the mysteries of our neighboring planet and its potential to support life.